It has come down to this, mudslinging with real peat moss. An Arrington campaigner told me that the idea of this spot was to graphically show that the campaign has not been on the highest level. But does this sort of thing win votes? Uh, it depends on, on who you're appealing to. In some cases, a forthright mudslinging thing might have an emotional appeal. Might, and for some people, it might be good. Uh, it, that's a, f uh, a rather crude way, I think. Alan Tharp is a professor at Mercer University in Atlanta. He teaches a class on political campaigns and how sophisticated advertising techniques used to sell consumer products have been adapted to sell candidates. He has noticed that at least one local office seeker has borrowed the tactics used in national and statewide media campaigns. Local people, people resident here in Atlanta, produce ads for national campaigns, and when they're asked to do it for the local campaign, they apply the lessons they've learned to the local situation. This ad is one of three produced by the Lomax campaign. One that featured a chaotic scene in the city council chamber was taken off the air several days ago by campaign strategists. Critics felt that it was just too unflattering to the city council, of which Arrington is a prominent member. Neither Arrington nor Lomax strategists wanted to talk about how much money they are spending on radio and TV, but both are in the tens of thousands of dollars. Political newcomer John Thompson claims he only spent $6,400 for this simple plug, but all of this raises the questions of why so much money is spent in running for a part-time job that pays only $8,800 a year. The speculation is there'll be mayor two years hence. So it, it's speculation is that it's a stepping stone for the mayor's office.